IMF July 2021. Global economy and global trade. Let's have a look at it. Continuing revision of the economic indicators has been the new norm now. By IMF, World Bank. Let's look at IMF, what they come out with in July 2021. 6% is a global growth, world output. Next year, 4%. 4.9% I should say. Advanced economies, in aggregate terms, it's 5.6%. UK, 7%. US, 7%. Euro, 4.6%. Japan, 2.8%. So if you look at all the four, they're all moving up from the original indicators in last year, October, or January this year, or even April, the spring meeting. So UK 7%, US 7%, Euro 4.6%, Japan 2.8%, aggregate terms 5.6%. Emerging market or developing economies put together 6.3%, 6.3%. BRICS economies, if you look at the, the bigger picture, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Now, Brazil, 5.3%. Russia, 4.4%. India, 9.5%. China, 8.1%. South Africa, 4%. And aggregating to 6.3%. The star performer is India, even though original prediction was 12%. It has come down to 9.5%. And 8% is China. And the rest of the emerging markets, Brazil or Russia or South Africa, they're all going to do between 4 to 5 percent. So, aggregate terms, emerging market is going to do 6.3 percent, and advanced economies or developed economies are going to perform 5.6 percent. So, Middle East and Central Asia put together 4 percent. That's our part of the world. So, there are positive momentum and uh, the growth is there in moderate terms next year, but it's not going to be contraction as it seems. So this is defied the original prediction in April or for the matter January. Now if you look at the big picture, the global economy is projected to growth 6% and 4.9% next year. Advanced economies growth is projected at 5.6% and 4.4% next year. A significant improved outlook for the US economy derives from the impact of anticipated legislation boosting infrastructure investments and strengthening the social safety net in the second half of 2021. They have to take initiative, which they have taken. The shift is partially offset by the forecast downgrade in 2021 for Japan, reflecting tighter restriction in the first half of the year as case loads picked up. Strengthening momentum is expected in France, Germany, Italy, Spain later this year carrying into 2022. Emerging and developing economies is projected at 6.3% in 2021 and 5.2% in 2022. Emerging and developing economies is projected at 6.3% in 2021, 5.2% in 2022. Emerging markets and developing economies projected at 6.3% in 2021 and 5.2% in 2022. Growth prospects in India have been downgraded following the severe second COVID during March, May and expected to show recovery in confidence from the setback. Global economic outlook, China forecast is revised down, scaling back of the public investments and overall fiscal support. Saudi Arabia grew at 2.4% in 2021. Original was 2.9%, as you know. The overall GDP forecast has been downgraded relative to April on account of subdued oil production below OPEC plus petroleum exporting countries, including Russia and non OPEC, also getting into the rhythm. Whatever the quota they said, they are fine tuning it now. So that's why there will be change in the forecast. Global trade, despite 
near term supply disruptions global trade volumes are projected to expand 9.7% in 2021 moderate into 7% in 2022 the merchandise trade recovery is set to broaden after being initially concentrated in in a pandemic related purchases consumer durables and medical equipments service trade is expected to recover more slowly consistent with subdued cross border travel until virus transmission declines to low level everywhere so as far as the trade volumes are concerned global trade volume 2021 is going to be 9.7 percent and next year it will be seven percent and that's the big picture the qatar economic projection stands as it is not much of a difference now we are supposed to produce around 167 billion a gdp inflation is around 2.4 percent and projection is around growth also around 2.4 percent population is around 2.8 million government debt is around 60 billion current account as a percentage of gdp is around seven percent that's the big picture during the imf and let's hope the global growth goes up and uh, the policy makers come together in terms of economic convergence and the political rift internally as well as externally within the the global operating countries